you have to be able to back that up with scripture that I'm not allowed to correct somebody else. Also, is that your husband in the background helping you? I'm cheering her on because I love her. And she's got my authority to be talking to you. Does she have hey. authority over my husband? Sir? Hey. Uh, We've got yeah. She does? Sure. If she's saying dumb shit on the internet, absolutely. Oh. If your husband is saying dumb shit like he hey, we're there, doing yeah, my wife can call him out every day, Hold all up. day. I give her the authority Hold to do up. that. It's, do you have authority it's three to question people, me? Three people in this debate. Uh, myself. Do you have authority to Rachel question me? And Otto. All right. That was what we agreed on. Okay. So let's just keep it at us three. Let's not bring in other people. Um, I really think that you all are talking past each other a bit here. Rachel, can I ask you a couple of clarifying questions real quick? Uh, I think it would really uh, well. Help. I would really rather keep it between me and autocorrect. I don't know why all the men are simping and jumping in on her behalf to help her out here. Simping? No, no, but the men are the leaders. Oh, this is a the man with no so emotional like... control who has to jump in and white knight. I'm, I'm having a dis- Your husband has no I'm emotional control. What are you talking about? Come on, get out of here. Oh, my, so it's wrong when I do it, but your husband can do it day in, day out. And you're like, oh, well, you don't understand him. You don't have no context of him, yada, yada. So it's cool when your husband talks like an asshole to people. But if I talk like an asshole to you, oh, I, I, you're just Sir, simping, and I'd rather you stay out. Of if it. your wife can't, that, if your is? wife can't handle that's a debate with me, then she has no business telling men what to do. Oh, get, get off your high horse. You're not that special. Oh, your wife can't handle the debate with hey, me. Hey, wait a sec. I, I thought we were not, nice. That's, Christians. A, that's an argument. I thought, that's an I argument. thought we were nice Christians who were treating the women politely. I thought that you would never. I never made a claim. I never made that claim about myself. Oh, well, your wife, your wife seems. Christian this, Christian that, wife but seems I don't fucking... <laughs> this is hilarious. Your wife seems very upset uh, when women are spoken to harshly. And I'm really surprised here that she's letting you take over for her. I thought she could do this herself. Yeah, I mean, that's the irony, though, right? Because you say she can't correct me right now. So even if she wants to, she can't say anything to me about uh, it. What is she? the purpose of the moderator no being here? Hey, if you're gonna let the, this guy that's just the irony. Yeah. That's what you're Otto, defending, this, though. You're defending to, that a man your husband needs can to talk go somewhere else. Fuck he wants to a woman and can't get told. Blah, shit. Blah, 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 so that's the irony. Blah, blah, you can't blah, get upset blah, blah, at me because I want to talk to you blah, like blah, you're beneath blah, me. Blah, blah, blah. You're beneath me, so I can talk to you however I want, right? The power invested in me. You're worse than a woman. I Excuse mean, me, I sounds like your husband right now, but I get it. Like, I, he is pretty bad. He is worse no, than a No, you sound drunk. You sound like you're slurring that. and drunk or missing teeth. You don't sound like my husband. My husband That's has what? a beautiful I'm voice. I'm slurring drunk and missing teeth. That's okay. what you sound like. You can't That's, speak correct. No, that's not what I sound like. That's now, retarded. Do you guys want to have the debate or no? Do you want me to debate the husband? Is that what you want to do or what? No, this is totally unacceptable. Otto, you're supposed to be in this debate. He's I agreed to debate this. you. Yeah. But you have to let me talk. Well, then you should do your servant leader duty and tell your husband that he is out of line. You you should you should do your um, mutual authority thing, you know, your mutual submission and tell him he needs to submit right now because you're having a debate. From now on, it's just what? you two. I don't believe that he has to listen to my authority. You don't believe that's in mutual not, that's submission? That's never been my... You don't believe in mutual submission? Servant leadership? Nonsense? I'm not a, I'm not the leader, though. Well, but isn't it your job when you feel like someone's not properly representing Christ to tell them to hush up? And, you know, because this is not very good. You promised to certain rules of the debate and he's breaking the rules. He's not being, you know, fair here. And you should step in with your concerns and tell him, I feel like you're really overstepping your bounds here, sweetie. And I can do this myself. Why don't you tell him that? But you just said I shouldn't. So which is it? Oh, well, you tell me. You're the lady that seems to know what the Bible says. I do know what the Bible says. Yeah, and you're the authority, right? You have the authority to tell Christians when they're doing something wrong and he's bearing false witness. You agreed to terms of a debate. He is interrupting. What, what false witness did he bear? Is he going to be quiet now and you and I can have this or what? I mean, what false witness did he bear? You guys agreed to terms. I have DMs between me and the host here saying that specifically it would be just us three, which is why he, the host himself said this is completely unacceptable. Yep, Your husband was completely out of term. So do you want to go back to the debate now? Can he contain himself? By the way, uh, Darwin, I can't hear you. So when you said that, I wasn't able to hear you. Can you hear me now? All. You can't right. hear him. Can, can you ask her to no. go out and come back in? 
He's asking you to go out and try coming back in so you can hear him. All right. So I don't know what's going on with this space, but I can't mute anybody for some reason. It's the weirdest thing. Otherwise, I would have muted him a long time ago. Okay. Very frustrating. It's, it's no problem. It actually, I think it made me look good, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> well, it's a problem with me because... Right. I understand. I think he's thing. done now. I, I have a feeling he's done now. I think he had enough. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because that, that shouldn't be happening. It should be you two, and that should be it. Uh, she's back in the space. I think she requested. I don't know if she did. I, I accepted it. Sometimes okay. it takes a minute. Yeah. Okay, Otto, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay, what I was saying is I told Rachel that it would just be you two. So your husband really should not be interjecting himself at all. And I would have muted him, but for some reason, I do not have that option right now. All right. Um, so since I don't have that option, I really need you two to just be civil with each other and listen to me and let's get through this. Okay. Now it's been 30 minutes. Well, it's been 15 minutes over that, uh, where y'all have been talking about this. Um, so I think that we should move on, but I do think it would be helpful for the two of you if you both summarized the other person and what they're saying. At least that way we can see if you were even paying attention to what the other person was saying. Um, do you think you could do that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. In a Who charitable way. In a charitable sure. way. Sure. Who do you want to go first? Um, Otto. All right. So Rachel, you feel your husband is taken out of context. You feel that women have no right to correct men, even publicly, when the man is a public figure representing Christ, that women just, whatever a man says, like, she can't disagree. That's my understanding. Nope, that's incorrect. The woman can disagree all she wants. She can disagree silently. If the man needs to be corrected, he's to be corrected by other men, specifically the authority, people who have authority over him in the church, elders, things of that nature. So like, for instance, a brand new catechumen, somebody who's just beginning the process of joining the church, would not have the authority to come in and tell Andrew what he can say and do. It would have to be somebody like maybe his spiritual father, his father confessor, his godparent, his bishop, an elder in the church who, you know, <clears throat> has some sort of authoritative standing. But it's can not you acknowledge that Twitter isn't set up that way? We're in a public forum. So it's not, use, we're not, yeah. you're right. I agree with you that you're right. I wouldn't be able to walk into a church and just tell a pastor he's wrong and just demand everybody bow down to what I'm saying. But when it comes to pu the public sphere, this is kind of a, a free exchange of ideas. There's no hierarchy. There's no, like, I can't go to somebody and ask them to address Andrew for me. This is just a public so, like, the rules aren't going to be what they are in, inside the Orthodox Church. So, didn't, bringing... you, didn't you say earlier that we are all members of the body of Christ, which, by the way, is not my view. I don't think that people who are outside the church are members of the body of Christ, but you do. So, according to your belief that we're all members of the body of Christ, and you said the reason you had to interject is because you felt that Andrew was not properly representing Christianity and you had concerns and therefore it was your authority to pipe up and tell him, you know, that you had these concerns. And I'm asking you if we're all members of the body of Christ, but within the body of, do you believe that there's no hierarchy within the body of Christ within, within the church? What is the body of Christ, by the way, if not the church? So, I'm talking about within the concept of like the church worship service. We're it's like Twitter is like the public square. You can agree that I'm not an Orthodox member. But Andrew what's the body of Christ? I'm, t I'm explaining it to you. Okay. I'm referring to the context of a meeting place, a congregation, like the organized worship. I'm not referring to the fact that we're all members of the body of Christ. When I say that there's a hierarchy within churches and the places that are like people meet but in the, within the body of Christ, when we meet in the town square and people are just, you know, saying whatever, 
there's no there's no hierarchy like what you're saying that for me to go through to address Andrew's behavior. It's being said publicly, so I respond publicly. And honestly, I don't think you can back up what you're saying with scripture that no one can correct another Christian without going through a certain process. I mean, you bring your concerns to the person directly. No, 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 no. I can back it up with scripture, but what you're going to do in true Protestant form is give me your modern individualist interpretation through your 2024 American liberal enlightenment glasses, right? You're so when I read to you 1 Timothy 2.12, you read to me prepared notes from some study Bible. You've probably got some evangelical kind of study Bible where they- So should I not passage. study the Bible? What's that? Should I not study the Bible? Yes, but you need to understand that the Bible is not what you think it is. And we, I can't well, so that's super why I should do study notes yet. from somebody else, right? No, you should look in the Orthodox study Bible because the Bible itself, first of all, you don't even have the right canon of scripture. Second of all, my church is the one that preserved and gave you the canon that you study. You are not able to interpret it outside of the one holy catholic and apostolic church for you to sit there and just read it like you can be your own little pope and tell me what the passages mean is not going to work here so i'm looking at ephesians 5 and it says uh that wives are to submit to their husbands in everything okay and that the you know husband is the head of the church or the uh, christ is the head of the church right so if christ is the head of the church I'm not sure where autocorrect 2.0 has the authority to tell my husband what is Christian and what. Now you can tell him, I don't like what you're saying. I think it's rude. I don't like how it makes me feel. You can say those things. I'm not saying you can't say them, but you do not have the authority to tell him you are not Christian or you are not allowed to do that as a Christian, which is what you did. But he's not because there's a clear written standard and he's breaking it. What standard is he breaking that makes him not a Christian? How are who are you to tell me who's a Christian? Are you baptized? Yes, I'm baptized. What church baptized you? What but what church are you a member of? A Baptist church baptized me. Okay. Why would a female who's been baptized into what an independent Baptist church with no ecclesiastical authority? be able to tell my husband who's baptized into the Orthodox church, what is Christian and what is not, because you don't even have the same canon of scripture. You do not have sacraments. You do not have priests. You don't have an ecclesiastical structure that holds anyone accountable. It's kind of a sola scriptura, do whatever you will, you know, do what thou wilt, kind of me and my Bible alone. And this is where women like you get so out of line. You don't understand that it is not your authority to tell men who, which men are being Christian and which men are not. Why? Let me just ask one question. Why should Andrew give a shit what you say? He doesn't have to. He should give a shit what God thinks. And I'm trying to, and you trying know to warn you. you know what God thinks. You know what God thinks. I can read the Bible. And so therefore I know what the mind of God. Yes, he shared it with us for that reason. You realize that's actual heresy to say that you know the mind of God. Then why did he share his, his will and his Bible and his word with us? Do you Why know he that share his spirit with he, us? Do you think the Holy Spirit does anything in people or do you think it just all works through the guys in the robes? The Holy Spirit came at Pentecost to guide the church into all truth. And what does the scripture say? The scripture says that the church is the ground and pillar of truth. Who, it does who not, has the Holy Spirit? No, 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 Rachel? wait. What did, what did women like you do before the canon of scripture? You realize we had hundreds of years with no Bible. Who has the you Holy know that? Spirit? The church has the Holy Spirit. Ultimately, What's the every church, like ultimately, the Holy Spirit can work through every. No, there's one church that Christ came to establish his church. Did he not? Did Christ say he came to leave you a book and you can do it on your own? Or did he say he came to establish a church and that the gates of hell would not prevail against it? He said that he was going to give us all his Holy Spirit in baptism and it would teach us all He said he would things. leave it. Nope. He was specifically talking about the church at Pentecost. Pentecost doesn't mean the Holy Spirit comes to you autocorrect and tells you the mind of God and that therefore you can go on Twitter and tell Andrew what he's allowed to say. The Holy Spirit came upon the church at Pentecost in order to guide it into all truth and said he would never leave the church.
So I'm asking again where your authority comes from to tell people who's Christian and who's not and how they're allowed to conduct themselves. The spirit of the Lord lives with individual lives within individual Christians. That's 1 Corinthians 6:17. It says that doesn't that answer each my question. question. Each I'm pushing back on what you said. I don't have to answer your question. You said that the spirit of God does not enter into individuals, but it enters into a church. And I'm reading to you, the spirit of the Lord lives within individual Christians. That's from 1 Corinthians 6, 17. And that a Christian's body is a temple just as the church corporately conceived. And that's from 1 Corinthians 3, 16. Okay. That your body so, is not your own. So, so everybody you're, you're has the, a Christian. Let me finish. Everybody sure. has the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is what gives us authority to correct doctrine. So you have the Holy Spirit, and I have the Holy Spirit. You think one thing, and I think a different thing. Who's correct? The one that's not mistreating oh my people gosh, and that's bearing hear, fruit. I can hear him whispering yeah, the auto. answers to you. I can hear him whispering the answer to you. You are cheating and you are not good faith. That's and not you are cheating. You are bearing false witness and you are totally dishonest. This is how these kind of women always end up being. They're not trustworthy. They have no authority and they will cheat and they'll be sneaky. Do you agree that Christ said that the person bearing fruit is the one with the Holy Spirit? I am not, I'm not second. doing this Hold debate when you have someone whispering in your ear. Andrew yep. is not here with me. Andrew is in another floor of the house. He's yep. not anywhere near me. This is complete bullshit. You're Auto. such a sneaky little liar. What, like I don't understand. Are you we told trying to my find husband truth? a liar earlier, and you're the sneaky little liar. It turns out. Hold on. Are we trying to find truth or not? Otto, uh, I, you're not being Otto, honest. So how can we find truth? Two, two people, right? Otto. I Otto? didn't tell him to say that. Okay. He needs, to, he needs to go somewhere else, or you need to go somewhere else. But he should not be helping you. That that is not what we discussed. That is unfair. Rachel does not have her husband. I haven't heard him one time. But see, that's your guys are making this like it's a game that someone's trying to win. It's like my debate. husband's like, I'm going to look, I'm going to be honest with you. My husband is upset. I don't care how you guys feel. Well, Rachel, part that's of, part I of the problem. Care. Things there, there is, that's part of the problem. You know why? Because Jesus said, you will know each other by your love for one another. You are sneaky. Not by how you much are dishonest. better you are at debating, not you by how, much, how slick you are with an answer, but by your love for one another. My husband is upset. Okay. Because he, he can go cry. He can go cry. Yes. About I know feelings. that you think that. And I'm not going to do this because you are sneaky. You're dishonest. You can't be trusted. I don't think you've come in good faith whatsoever. You've proved who you are and what you're about. All you care about is your feelings, your husband's feelings. This is not about That's your feelings. That's not true. I, I came about here in truth. good faith to have a debate with you and you screwed that over. And I'm done here. I don't see any reason to continue this conversation. You've been so dishonest. And also, you're not, how are you a good representation of Christ and Christianity? How have I Your been dishonest? Your husband here yelling at me. What have you I said that's cheating. dishonest? You didn't. I agreed to terms she with the host. I'm going to release the DMs. I'm going to release the DMs. We were very clear about the terms. Rachel, the host, the what host have I said that's dishonest? You straight multiple times. The host has tried to set you straight multiple Can times. you let me you. talk? Absolutely what have not. I said that's you dishonest? don't get to say anything because you've been so bad faith and dishonest. You don't get to well, say how anything. So, can you please explain how? Yes, I will explain it, Otto. She's absolutely correct. I said you, me, and Rachel, and your husband not only interjected himself for like three minutes, which was com completely out of line, but then he's back in the room talking to you, helping you. I can hear him. We he's can not helping me. He's He's been in here the whole time he playing video him. games. Listen no. to me. He's been in here the whole time playing video games. He's listening and he's frustrated. He's not, he's not helping me. He's not like feeding me like things to say. He's like, he's answering because he's, he's answering out of frustration. He's not trying to like feed me answers. And this isn't like a game of like basketball where you can like cheat. It's where it's people trying to get to the truth. We had a okay. deal, Otto. Yeah. Which was and I didn't <laughs> invite him to speak. I didn't. I even told him that you had said it's not okay to speak. He started yelling because he's upset. Okay. This is like, 
Do you have a high tension situation and he's upset? But I mean, I think you guys are being a little unfair, like saying that I'm dishonest. Well, I would love to thank the host. The host was very cool, very chill. I'd be happy to do a space with you again, sir. You did hold to your end of the bargain. You tried to hold her to her end, but she didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the space now because everybody can see now what Andrew and I are dealing with when it comes to these people. So very big thumbs up to the host. Very cool guy. Thank you so much. Uh, autocorrect, you suck and you don't have any authority and you need to be quiet and learn in submission. And everybody have a great night. Hello. Hey. Yeah, honestly. I I didn't tell him really to talk. Him. Yeah, but that's just completely, it's complete crap, Otto. He can't be in there helping you. You know, it's she doesn't have her husband helping her. We agreed. We agreed. You, me, her. That's it. The and reason he was even in here was because she had said on Twitter, I want to talk to your husband. Yes, Otto, but you know good and well that we discussed that. And I said, he's not going to be in the conversation. And you brought him in. He came I in. I didn't bring he, him in. He's just sitting in here listening. I didn't bring, I didn't say, hey, say something. Like, well, he, he jumped in. in because he's upset. Like, Get honestly... That. Like they're I get that, but you understand. Yes, but he cannot do that. He can't just jump in. It was supposed to be you and one other person. That's it. He can't jump in. He's got to control himself. It is unfair. Immediately, as soon as he does that. And I told him to be quiet. I okay, believe but he's true. like he's upset. Yeah, I mean. I would have went into a different room. It, it, it's very important that these things are not given the appearance of being uh, off balance. You know, as soon as he starts doing that, that has to get shut down immediately. Immediately. She but do you, I'm asking you, do you understand that she literally said she wanted to talk to him about me? And that she's the one who brought it, like, he was mumbling under his breath, and she can hear him, and she's like, is that your husband there? What, it, like, let me ask, what does he think? She talked to him for a few minutes, and then it became a problem. Like, if she didn't want to talk to him, she could have just, like, said, hey, like, don't have him say things. She but it's like, she talked, she started, she initiated a conversation with him, had a back and forth for a while, and then got upset. He should, he had no business in the conversation, Otto. None, zero, absolutely not. You know, that's just, and I understand he's upset. I understand you guys are both upset. I get that. I totally get that. Everybody's upset here, but he he really should not have been in this conversation at all. It needed to just be you and her. And if you had a different room to go into, you should have went into a different room so he wasn't hearing these things. Hey, Darwin, what's up? Like calling, me, like calling me dishonest, though, for someone else's behavior, like, is that honest? It looked dishonest, Otto. I don't know if it, it was honest, but.